I see a lot of hilarious things on Instagram sometimes. They're only funny when they're fart videos and other weird videos where people's eyes are running away from each other. Anyway, ah, moving all, all fun and games in life. So today we're going to be mod modding. We're going to be modding Cyberpunk with the Nexus Mods dot app. That's its name. It exists over here on this page right there. And you download it by clicking here under releases like this. Then you go down here, ignore all the app updates. They're not, they don't matter. And you click this and you hit save. Yay. Now we need to have cyberpunk clearly installed, but we need to also do some maintenance in cyberpunk to make sure it works. So to do this, we're going to click wine config. Very important. Okay. And once wine config pops up or it's done doing its thing, I recommend doing this with the heroic game launcher, because if you don't, you're going to have to do this using proton tricks. And that's much more annoying and, uh, not something I would ever recommend because it's annoying. It is so annoying. There's wine tricks. You're going to set this. Oh God. Oh God. What is it doing? Well, Oh no, is it acting up? Okay, we're good. Set this to Windows 11, hit apply, hit okay. That's the first thing we're doing. We're gonna go to Wine Tricks and we're gonna install VC Run 2022. Just like that, because 2022 also includes 17, 18, 19, and 2015. There was no 2016, it doesn't exist. It was ripe from history. That's why we have Cyberpunk. Please remember these details. They will be in a history lesson one day. I promise we're going to select auto install update DXVK and VAPI. Okay. This is important too. Uh, just, you know, cause you want to have, mm, how do I say this? Uh, DLSS working and frame generation working and all of that. We're also using proton experimental bleeding edge. So the next thing we need to do is I need to show you how to do that. So we're going to open up steam real quick. Okay, so now that we have Steam open, we're going to go to Library. We're going to click here. We're going to select Tools. We're going to go in. We're going to find Proton Experimental. We're going to right-click, go to Properties. We're going to select Beta. And here, we're going to select the Bleeding Edge. All right? That's it. And then it will automatically update, and you'll be able to use it. But because I'm already on it, I don't really need to make any more adjustments. Now, the reason we use this is because it's honestly the most compatible thing that we have with all the latest features. So we're going to head into our downloads folder and we're going to find the Nexus mods app. We're going to extract it. And this is where everything takes, takes place. Okay. And in this huge mess of files, you're going to find the Nexus mods .app. We're going to hit run. And there we go. We have it. It's here. It's great. It's good to go and uh, hit allow. Okay. Because here's the thing I know. It may be a diff bit difficult to understand, but this is a heavy development for Linux users. So the more information that they gather about crashes, issues, logs, and stuff like that, the better it's going to be for us in the long run. We're going to verify we're human. Let me check that this is my password. It is indeed my password. I'm going to hit login. This is a very old username, by the way. I'm going to authorize. We're going to hit continue. And then we're going to always allow to open up inside of the mod manager. Now, because we have this installed, I wonder if we can add a game. We can add the game that shows up, but we can't add any real game yet because currently only Cyberpunk, Stardew Valley, Baldur's Gate 3, Mountain Blade, Bannerlord are currently supported. Please try to remember this. This is important, okay? We click My Games. My Games. Right here. See that? Right? We actually click this because my games doesn't really work. Proton Tricks is required to install red mods. See that? So if you're on Arch Linux, yay. Proton Tricks. I don't think it understands that we're not on Steam. This comes with Cache OS, by the way. So if you're on Cache OS, you technically can just do. Why is it not letting me zoom in? There we go. You can just do sudo. Pacman dash S proton tricks like that. Okay. Great. 
Uh, anyway, health check is done. We can close the app out and we can open it back up because that's what we have to do. But I know you're going to get annoyed about constantly opening and closing and reopening the app. So what we're going to do is we're going to put you Lutris to work. All right. In Lutris, you can add native Linux apps and then you can add them to your dock. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Again, you're on Linux. You expected this, right? Things to be somewhat difficult. But they're not really that difficult. Everything's been pretty straightforward. Mod manager. Okay. We're going to select the executable by going to downloads. Next is mod manager. And we're going to be selecting the main application itself like that. And that's it. Hit save. And now when you hit play, guess what opens up? The Nexus Mod Manager. And if you need to, we can add an icon to this. So I'm going to open this up and uh, I'm going to just open image. No, that's not actually the icon. See, sometimes they don't allow you to actually use icons. Are you an actual image? I can hear. Where's everything What's going on? Oh, you're an SVG. Okay, well. Uh, save page as, as you can see, I'm going to be saving this in my pictures and we're going to save this to logo. Okay. It's going to be our icon. So if we hit configure, we choose the little guy, we choose this, we hit save and we need to add this to application menu shortcut. All right. And then when you open it up, there it is. And you can just drag this right here and it's ready to go. I do this. I go over everything in detail so you guys can have an easy time. Also, we pass the health check. Now, this is where your mods are going to go. Now, what do you do after this? What do you think you do? You go in here and we're going to Google cyberpunk mods. Cyberpunk 2077 mods. And I do this because... So my main guess is that wine overrides are missing. So we're going to go to advanced. We're going to go down to wrapper, uh, not wrapper, sorry, variable name. And I'm going to paste this stuff in. Now I don't need any of this. I need the other stuff, uh, which is going to be this. That was for something else. I think this is it right here. And we're going to add that and hit the plus button. That should do the wine overrides unless there's another set of wine overrides that I need. Uh, updated Steam Deck users modding on Linux. I'm going to check everything. And yes, that is what we need. Now, there's one more thing that we need with wine tricks. One more thing I forgot, which again, it's me, so it's normal. Uh, you're going to want this. Now, the last thing that we need to add is the wine override variables. And to do that, we have to head into, I believe, advanced. And as you can see, the wine override variables are there. Now, I know I had them possibly before, but they were entered incorrectly. Before when they were entered, they had a, uh, well, let me show you what they had on the end. So this, like this, is actually incorrect. They're just supposed to be by themselves. And they're in here as a variable okay that way they actually uh don't you know that way they function and when we go start up the game you're going to see that they do function and then we're going to get to downloading mods and we will be avoiding certain mods on like last time because this is a re-edit is well i care about you so if i hit the home key you'll notice that the cyber engine tweaks now pop up and when you first do it, oh, that's loud. When you first do it, what will happen is it will ask you to bind a key. So just bind the key and you'll be good to go. Now, when searching for mods on the Googles, we need to remember something. And that is to, um, you know, be careful when you're doing so. You're going to open up a new private window just because... I don't want to have to deal with that. So we're going to search cyber punk. Look at that. 2077 native UI. It's right there. 
this is the first one we're going to and we'll be going to description of course it tells you how you can install it and go through everything and deal with it what it does keybinds and such uh, but we are concentrating ourselves on first logging in give me a second uh, let's see wow it has been a very very long time since i've logged in here uh without knowing it what is this why is there an ad there go away you can do slow download or fast download but if you go to files you can see mod manager download so when you click this what's going to happen is it's going to pop up here right here okay but when we click it it's going to tell you the things that it needs so it needs the cyber engine tweaks you can open that up and we can do the same thing we can go to files and we can click mod manager download which again will update but we'll bring it in here and these are the mods that i recommend the archive xl the red 4 ext red script and tweak xl and simple menu add-in game ui including hotkeys these brought me all of these and it's the only reason i had them so that's how you download mods Again, it's like it goes directly in. This is just another version of Vortex, except way better, way more. It, it's just programmed better. I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoy your modded game. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. You can do all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.